on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What kind of bike do you have? Dang! You got shocks, pegs, lucky. <laughs> Let's see what this thing can do. I got a good spot I want to go to. I haven't been metal detecting in a couple of years. The last time was with Jeffro. I moved this throttle down a little bit because it was up a little higher so I could position this down a little. Heading toward Anderson Hill. Pretty darn good, 20 miles an hour up the small hill. Down to about 19. The seat is pretty comfortable. And these gel pads for your palm rest, they're pretty nice too. This is the second little steeper hill. Made that at 12.8, 13 miles an hour, we'll call it. Now for the big one. Anderson Hill. It's pulling it. 8.8 .8 on the first steepest part. The second steepest part is, that's the one. Come on, Mach Wheel. Ah. Oh. A little bit of help. This is the very, very steepest part. Not many make this. Uh, no. Almost. But no cigar. 41. <laughs> Not many make it up Anderson Hill, as you know. I think only two, possibly three, made it up Anderson Hill with no help. There's 30. 31. Slight uphill. There's a little downhill over here. We'll see how that does. 31.32 uh, 35.4 Yeah, it's ripping along pretty good So it's like This is a little bit of an uphill like slightly we're doing Almost 32 31.9 We'll test how accurate this speedometer is, too. How come those people don't park in those people's driveway that they're working at? Absorbs the bumps pretty good. It doesn't have rear suspension, but the bigger wheels make a difference. So on a flat, cruise along at 32 now with the super secret mods that you're not supposed to do. But I'm out here in the country, boys, so... I want that speed. There's some hills here. Pulled that one pretty good. I did get one of those rear view mirror things that go on a bike helmet. I took the little protective plastic off of it and I'm trying to look through it, it was all blurry. They use some, I don't know, it looked like a maybe plastic. It's not glass, so it was terrible. I had to send it back. And maybe I can just order a clip on. Yeah, it's pulling it up. This hill, not too bad. This isn't quite as steep as Anderson Hill, but it did a pretty good job. 10, 11 miles an hour.
He was already a hiker. Jeez, I never expected a hiker here. No biking either, huh? Oh, man. Well, there goes that plan. No biking. I guess because it's the Appalachian Trail, huh? Carried my metal detector for nothing. a good loop anyway. Well, I got another spot up here. I guess we can do some metal detecting. It's pretty flat right here. It's a good spot. Let's do a zero to top speed. Ready? Go! Seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen. Twenty. 25 30 No, we're not going to be able to do a top speed because I'm turning here There's people here too What is going on around here? I'm not looking to see whether bikes are allowed I'm just going Eight point two miles. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven segments. Eight point two miles and I did some hills. Still pretty high. And muddy. Let's try a little metal detecting here. I know people come and swim in here a lot, so Maybe they lost some jewelry or money. I'm sure there's not going to be any old coin here. Break out my old whites detector. Oh man, look at all the bottle caps. Oh jeez. That's all metal. Way too many beer caps. Yeah, I could see them. Wasting my time, boys. Oh well. Put my anchor back on. Take you guys to a pretty, pretty fun place. I have to go at a little slower pace. Gee, I wonder what that was. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's a torque meter on here. Thread the needle. Picked up a hitchhiker. Oop. 
I hit my pedal. That's a little hairy. sand. Huh. And all them birds. Hmm. They're enjoying the sun. Had a little in that, you know how the sand is. Almost there, boys. There. We are there. Yeah, that river's flowing. That's the Housatonic. Looks like a good photo op. Loosen this up a little bit. It's too much. I like it soft like that, so I'll leave it soft as setting. And the spring tension is about maybe halfway, a little less than halfway to tension. Let's see if we can make it back out of here. Try using a throttle. I can stand up on the pedals, get a little more control, except underneath this stuff. Pretty much throttling all the way back so far. It doesn't do too bad in the sand. I'd probably let a little air pressure out of the tires. They're pumped up max right now. <laughs> Thread the needle. <laughs> it's a little getting used to the throttle, but if you wedge your thumb right in between the bracket and the throttle lever makes it a little bit more manageable so the bumps don't th throw it off you know they even give you some knurled spots there so I think that's what they intended you to do do 
to graze that tree a little bit. <laughs> it's tight through here. Oh, there's somebody walking. Catch anything? Yeah, it's a little. I guess. And high. High, I can, yeah, sort of deal with. But it's been like this for a couple weeks. So last time I was here, I did quite well. But huh? I came through. I didn't even see you. You're probably further up. Oh, I was over there. Somewhere. You didn't go all the way to the little rock cliff over there. No, I think I'm gonna go to Cornwall. Well, good luck. Your ride. Thanks. Yeah, so this isn't a bike trail. It's a hiking trail. Did a little pedal assist all the way to here from that guy. Back on throttle, of course. I'm sure you can see my thumb. Wonder where that trail went. Poopy paper again. Oop. <laughs> How you doing? Jeez. A lot of people around here. Never used to be like this before. During a week, it's a Monday. Still got full battery, it shows. 9.6 miles. This is a pretty good sized battery though. I hopped it. Just like a professional bicyc bicyclist would. <laughs> oh. Tree down. This doesn't really... Yeah, we'll, we'll follow it out. Trailblaze. I don't know if this trail is still open or not, but... I guess we could try it. it. Looks like we're definitely gonna need some pedal assist up these hills. These are pretty steep. <laughs> Little pedal assist. That was pretty steep too. This one's taken. Stand up pedal assist. Whew. That's it. Trail ends. Well, gotta say, that's the steepest hill I've ever gone up with knee bike. That was in first gear. Had to stand up and pedal. But it did it. Yeah, I'm winded. Nice view though, huh? Look at that beautiful view. Back down the hill. Rocks don't make it any easier. Notice when I was pedaling up that hill before, I had a weed hit my brake lever and turned off my hub, you know. I wondered what it was. 
Jeez, mm. oh, out of the frying pan and into the fire. Yeah, I'm loving these e-bikes now. They're a lot of fun. And you guys can say, well, you know, you use the battery a lot. Yeah. You still get exercise. How's it going? Want to race? <laughs> a few moments later. Ended up being someone I know. He didn't want to be on camera though, so I'll respect his wishes. Let's go. Still got full battery. 10 miles. Somebody wanted in. So that guy I met that doesn't want us. Ooh, that was a fling something. Raccoon maybe. Nothing but bones left. But that guy that I stopped that was riding a Harley and talked to him. Ended up being someone I knew who was a few years older than me. But he knew the area. He grew up around here. So I asked him if he knew there was a trolley that used to cross a river over here. And I could never find it. Yeah, it was a, a steel cable that went across the Housatonic River here. And it had a basket and you could fit like six people in it. And then you could ride it across the river almost all the way. Of course, the sag, you'd end up going back and forth until you sagged in the middle. And it had a rope, you could pull yourself back to this side. Or the other side, I guess. But I asked him, and he told me exactly where it was, so I'm gonna see if I could find where it was, because they did take it down many years ago. Oh, right here. He said they just put a building in here. So a little bit south of that building. I mean, that was a long time ago. Again, I was probably 14 years old, maybe 15. So right about here, he said there's a for sale sign uh, that says island for sale. I don't see it. I have to walk down in there one day and see if there's any traces left of it. 11.5 miles and I did some mountain biking, kind of, not really a mountain but some rough trail ride biking. I put my motorcycle helmet cam on this and put that new GoPro 10 on my motorcycle helmet. So I think we're catching all the video and audio this time, hopefully. This does boogie along pretty good. It doesn't have cruise. I didn't even see a setting for cruise. I'm not really a fan of that anyway. I already did a zero to top speed, but I'm just gonna go around this big loop since I got plenty of battery power. The road gets rough and I got the tires pumped up max. The front absorbs it really good. Of course there's no rear so that's the only thing this is really lacking is a rear shock and a USB plug. Other than that man this, this is excellent. Doing really really good on this test. And it does not come with the inverter. I thought maybe it would come with the inverter, but it didn't. I'm trying to see if I can get an inverter to test out. 13.3 miles. It's nice having that speed for these back roads. Yeah, I know, it's technically not legal. They do make seat stems with shock absorbers on them. That solves a lot of the no suspension bike problems. Of course, you need a little extra room for height. This hill struggles to 500 waters, and this is doing really good, you know, 750. You do a little bit of pedaling. Yeah, this torque sensor pedal assist, man, it is nice. Because if you don't want to go fast, you just put a little bit of pressure, and you're still getting the exercise. Pretty 
good size hill here. Oh, deer. Oh, dear. I see you, Mrs. Deer. Down to three bars of battery. 16.8 miles. You can feel it's a little slower as the voltage goes down. See how we do up this hill. Oh, big bumps. It's doing it. Oh man, down to two battery bars. It's in the red. But it ain't. It's doing it. Mm, did it pretty good. I probably got eight more miles to go before I get home. So I hope this battery holds up. Yeah, as soon as you let off the throttle, it comes back three bars. Regenerative braking. That's another thing would make this bike a little better. Surprisingly, not many have it. Breaking a speed limit, boys. Back into the red. Oh, here we go. We'll see how fast this is, how accurate it is. 23. So it's about two miles an hour off. Not too bad. Huh, no one's in the water today. I'm gonna back up to three bars. That's a good sign. Cause we got a few more hills to do. <laughs> a lot more hills. I think I made that hill better needed. Still doing pretty good on the hills. Let's see how it switches from economy to power, depending on the speed. Now this hill, 500 watt, will not make it up without pedal assist. But I am very low on battery, so... We'll see how it does. Still holding two bars. Yeah, still doing it. Doing pretty good for having a low battery. Probably down to like 47 volts. Doesn't have a voltmeter. I have 20 miles and don't forget man I climbed some steep steep hills right the pedal like stand-up pedal to help it this is a hell of a test on the battery and the controller if it had a cheap controller it would have failed by now <laughs> one bar battery still pulling this hill it's probably 15 degrees Pretty good. Looks like our top speed now is about just about 28. Not much battery left. Still got a few miles to go. Yeah, we'll see how accurate it is on this one. 21, 23, 25. Yeah. Two miles an hour off. Uh-oh. I was flashing for a minute there. 22.1 miles. Good thing the rest of the way is mostly downhill. Brakes work really, really good. Excellent braking. Huh. Battery's flashing. I might make it home. Got a nice long downhill here. A little coaster. 35. 37, 
38.5 coasting down that big hill. No, uh, she's still flashing, boys. Whatever I get on my test around my area, you can pretty much double it, and that's what you'll get on flat ground with some pedal assist. Flashing battery. We're at 23.7 miles. It's illegal to blow your grass out on a road. Wow. Still doing 27.6 with a dead battery. Not dead yet. Flashing battery. Oh, the big rocking road. Home stretch, boys. Another raccoon. What the world? People are silly, I tell you. Silly. 25 miles on a button. We made it all the way. Whew. Flashy battery and all. What do we have? So, 25.4 miles. 43 minutes. I did stop and BS for a while, but I did shut it off. Pretty darn good. Did good. Let's plug it back in. Four to six hours of charge. So it looks like the hubs 116 at the hottest point where the controller is about 88 89 degrees and the battery uh, 97 is the hottest The Basalt comes with adjustable front forks, preload and dampening, Tektro hydraulic front and rear disc brakes, rear rack with a solid oak platform, customized comfort leather seat, torque sensor style pedal assist, a DL48 volt 750 watt hub, variable throttle control by thumb, the spokes are 13 gauge in front and 12 gauge in the rear, 6160 aluminum frame with an optional power inverter, 7 speed gear cassette, Shimano push pull gear selector, KMC stainless steel drivetrain, Cheo Yang 26 by 4 puncture resistant fat tires. Leather hand grip with a little gel pad. Adjustable handlebar height. Color LCD. Aluminum alloy handlebars. Nice bright LED headlight. And a rear running and LED brake light. The mock wheel. Basalt. Convenience 2, Santa Ana, California. Combining convenience with convenience. Jeez. Mock wheel ain't messing around. It's glued and stapled. Heavy, heavy duty cardboard, too. I have to cut it with a razor. <laughs> wow. That's the toughest box I ever got into. Well. Class three. I like that. Whoa. Nice piece of oak. Let's see what's in the accessory box. Wow. Nice set of Allen wrenches. Some hardware. Zip ties. Can win some free gifts. User's manual. Stamped wrench. Well, a lot of stuff. So much stuff. I better bring it inside and lay it all out on the mini truck. The air pump for the tires. Some nice chrome polished wrenches. It's like a 15 and an 18. Pedals. Righty right thread and lefty left hand thread. Some more mounting hardware and some sort of bracket. Headlight. 
dual LED. That looks like it might be pretty bright. And charger. 3 amp, 54.6 volt charger. So that's everything in the accessory box. Quite a bit of goodies. Wow, these are light. Super light. Damn. Right? That's crazy. 26 by 4.0. There's the plug. I guess this model doesn't come with the inverter, huh? Neat idea. Handlebars. Shimano gear set and cassette. It's all welded and polished aluminum. Mock wheel. Hydraulic front and rear brakes too. Can't believe how light this wheel is. Take that keeper out. That washer out. Good. That was easy. Huh, you can adjust this too. Yeah, the great. height. First I've seen that on one of these e-bikes. Huh. It says ABS plus. So you got spring force and dampening. I like it nice and soft. They must have kept that loose just to fit in the box so that wasn't sticking up in the air. The controller and everything else is in there. There's a charging port for the battery. You can take it out. Comes with the fenders. It's not a bad looking bike. Looks pretty beefy. Allen wrench set. It comes with everything but the 10. This was stuck in that 10 hole. Another five. Or I forget. I guess I should have checked the bearings, huh? Yeah, they're good. Be surprised how many are tight. Oh, that's why they give you two fives. I see, said the blind man. That's pretty wild. So I guess this is supposed to stay somewhat snug. And the rest you do from here. Huh, it's even got a little angle meter on it. There's numbers there. Where are you supposed to see those? All kinds of adjustments. Must be about like that, like you're doing, right? We'll try, try it. it like that. And these are adjustable through here. Hydraulic, mineral oil brakes. That's pretty straight. What do you think? Pretty good. Tighten these neck screws up. So, little locking nuts behind them. Don't want to lose those. Warming up now. It was freaking cold this morning. 61, I think it said. And then we got to figure out what are all those other extra nuts and stuff. I got to put the front fender on. Go over all the bolts and nuts. It's always a good idea. That's pretty good instructions though. How to assemble it. So it's just a headlight, the fenders, and adjustments pedals should take that battery out and start charging it oh, that's a pretty good sized battery shows full but I'm sure it's not this is what they should come with a little bag to hold the tools so that's where the inverter plugs in Right hand, right thread. Left hand, left side, left thread. 
Okay, that's what the brackets are for. I see now. Headlight. It's four D's. I mean, I know what these are for. Oh, that's probably for the brake puck to keep them part. It's part of the brakes. Yeah, like a spring. Yeah. All them extra parts. Put these on. So it must have to use those angle brackets. Why did you send you four? So it must be Phillips. Since it's short. Oh, they didn't give us a Phillips screwdriver though. So that goes there. And then this goes here, like that. Yeah, that, that looks right. So we think 45 minutes assembly time, hour tops. That's 129 max. A few moments later. Fully charged. Took like what? Three hours? And it said it was fully charged already. You never know with these batteries. You have five pedal assist modes. If you hold the down button, it's push assist. Should you need to walk it up a steep hill. So to get into basic setting modes, hold the up and down arrow. In here, you'll see your brightness. To select, push the power button. You have your different levels that you can cycle through. Hit the power button to select which one you want. Then you have unit. It's miles per hour or kilometers, which we already set. Startup mode. Safe mode. You have to start pedaling first. Free mode, you could just hit the gas and go and then if you want to reset your trip odometer you do that there and that's it and then to get out of there you just hit the headlight button took the restrictor plate off give the red dragon a little more juice but uh... let's keep that on the down low it's not exactly street legal hit all three of these buttons up down and headlight I know you want to go out, right? Make sure you know what you're doing before you change any of these. Speed limit. Speed limit 28. Ha ha. Oh boy, look at that. I'm all excited. There ain't no way it's going to go that fast. Let's let's set it for 40. Holy cow. Fast. Yeah. I went in there and put it up to 61, but it does 36.1. There is intensity setting, which is when you first take off, it's like a soft start. Three is the factory. See how it takes a little while to, to wind up? When you go to five, watch. See how much faster that is? And then one. So, we'll keep this on five. Your pedal assist levels, if you're on one, and you throttle, it's still gonna have the same top speed and torque with your thumb throttle. So it only affects when you're pedaling. Well, that's got pretty good takeoff. Yeah, this thing's gonna do pretty good. 
Not a fan of the throttle on the left, but. She'll be river. So now for my impressions on this bike. I think it's a very well built bike. It has a 400 pound carry capacity, a two year warranty. The thing is fast, you can set the top speed to go very fast compared to most other ones. The ride is nice with the bigger tires of course. The front suspension definitely softens it up pretty good. Yeah, it did make it up Anderson Hill but most don't. The battery got a really good range. The hand grips are very comfortable. So even after a long ride I wasn't fatigued at all. Surprisingly even my butt didn't hurt. They do have an optional AC inverter that goes with this. That's a pretty cool option if you're looking for something like that to go camping. The only thing I saw that this bike lacked was it didn't have a USB plug to plug your phone in to charge anything. It didn't have a rear shock. A lot of them still don't. And it doesn't have regenerative charging, which isn't a deal breaker. For the money, it's a very, very well-built bike that looks like it'll last a long time. And a two-year warranty, they'll back it up. So if you like what you saw on this bike, I'm going to have the links down below with any kind of discount codes that they give me. I appreciate you guys watching. That's right. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.